Hi, welcome to Body Movement Warehouse of Code UK. We're going to take a look at now a huge compound exercise for squats. So there's a lot of points here to get through, so we're going to try and go through them as best we can, and obviously it's my own personal choices. There's so many variations that people argue about, but we're going to look at the raw basics and just make sure you're doing it at least to a good level. So with your squat, you always want your feet to be facing forwards. Don't let them be facing outwards, how some people naturally stand. Feet facing forwards. If you have a problem with your feet facing forwards, even turn them in very slightly. Okay? The worst thing you do is have your feet pointing out because it puts a lot of stress on your knees. So if you have an issue with your feet not being able to stay straight, deliberately point them in very slightly to just stop them turning outwards. So, nice hip width apart, maybe just above hip width apart. Then from there, your knees never want to come over the front of your feet. So your knees here never want to come here. So you sit over the front of my foot there. That is not a good squat. That's pressure on the knee. That's away from the muscle. So when you come down, the trick is, is to be pushing your ass out towards the wall. So as you come down, your knees stay in line, your ass comes out and you go deep. Deep, knees in line with my feet, they're not forward. That's the trick and it's where a lot of people go wrong. Having the weight on your back does actually help that technique because it helps push you down into that position. So from there, what you're going to be doing is having your hips tilted slightly forward. So when you stood up with the weight, but your knees go soft and then before you go, drop into the swap position, tilt your hips slightly forward. It automatically sets your ass pointing in the right direction and automatically brings your knees back a little bit. Chest out, back arched, nice and solid with your hands on the bar. Again, personal choice where your hands go, wide, close, out, and wide, close under the bar. When you come down, arms out, nice and deep, and then from there, pushing through the heels of your feet. Look up towards the ceiling, that's going to stop you wanting to push forward. Look up towards the ceiling and drive through from there with your heels up, bang. Up to you whether you want to fully lock out your legs or not. Personally, I only do it if I'm struggling for air, just to get a breath at the top. Some people do like to take a big deep breath before they go down into the squat to help engage their abs and make the core section strong. But again, trial and error, work out what works best for you. So, when you're coming off the bar, placing just across your traps, a lot of places have padding to put here to stop it digging into your, your bones in the back or you know, digging too deep into muscle and causing pain. If you want to use them, by all means do, just ensure that they're centered on the bar. So, when you come out, when you're on the rack, don't lift it and then walk about eight steps backwards. It's unnecessary. You only need to get just as far away from the rack so that you're not going to touch any of the pins coming down. Because if you need to get back and get back quickly, when you're tired, that eight steps you took back is going to seem like a long way to re wrap the bar. So only come back as far as you need to to not be able to hit the rack. From there, look up towards the ceiling, knees nice and soft, feet pointing forward, tilt the hips forward. So that's me locked in, tilt the hips forward, see how my arse comes out a little bit. From there, come nice and deep, and then drive through the heels, look up to the ceiling, breathe out at the top. Looking up, and if you have a spotter for this exercise, make sure they spot you by gripping you around the waist and under the arms to help bring you back up. And you re-rack it, just bring it forward, and then wrap, the rack and down. So your spotter, when they're going to spot you, will be around the waist. So imagine the man stuck here, be around the waist, hands lightly clasped together, so that when they come down, you go down with them, and then if you start struggling on the way back up, your hands come a bit tighter, and you lift up with them, and then have them re rack So that's a good raw basics of your squat, but just to ensure the main points, look up towards the ceiling when you do it, drive through your heels, make sure that your ass is going backwards as you come down, and your knees never come in front of your feet, because that's going to cause a lot of pressure on the knee joint, that's not what you want. Make sure you're going nice and deep, to roughly a seated position and then back up to the top. A lot of people tend to do a shallow squat to there. It's not deep enough. You're not engaging enough muscles. So from this, make yourself drop lower to here and then back up. That's the important point of your squat and that will help maximize your gains and it will improve strength massively.